Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to grow lettuce inside in very small containers uh, that basically anyone can do. The, the materials you need are very simple and uh, you may need to purchase a few things like these uh, two inch net cups here and uh, hydroponic nutrients and maybe some rock wool cubes that is basically all you need to buy and um, if you have these already it's gonna be very simple to grow so um, I was doing an experiment today and uh, I have extra lettuce seedlings that I pull out so uh, and you see there's not really much left in here uh, the roots is basically pulled apart but as long as there's a few roots left it'll still work so instead of throwing these away uh, I decided that I'm gonna make a video to show you how easy it is to grow uh, these type of lettuce in hydroponic in very small containers so what we're gonna need to do today is uh, we're gonna need a few bottles of water uh, so basically they're gonna look like this what you're gonna have to do is we're gonna just cut uh, right here where the label ends and you want something like an hourglass shape uh, these type of bottle works the best because uh, I'll show you why so we're gonna cut here all right so that is gonna be our container and then the net cup which is, which is two inch fits perfectly in there and the rock wool fits perfectly into the net cup and then uh, to prevent algae from growing we're going to put that into these uh, beer holder uh, I, I had a Christmas party last year and we got a bunch of these there's just so many so I decided to test around with it so uh, what we're gonna do first is we'll take a rock wool here and you want to cut down the center like so uh, and then open it up and we're gonna take one of these seedling here as you can see there are not many roots left we're gonna put that right in here like so and that will go in here okay so that's basically how it's gonna go so before you do that you want to put your net cup in and then you're gonna fill the nutrients till it touched the bottom of the net cup before you put the rock wool cube in but I was just showing you that uh, in advance so let's do that right now you can use any type of nutrients you like uh, what I'm using here is because I have this already pre-mixed this is a general hydroponic flora series I mixed it already in advance so um, it's a, just a standard mix five milliliter of each part and that is it so we're gonna pour that in here and you can see it touches my net cup at the bottom and we are going to put our rock wool inside here like so push it down a little make sure it make contact to the, with the bottom right there and then we're going to drop that in here and you can either use something like this if you like that would work as well or if you have these cool beer holder or soda holder that would work as well so we'll do another one so as I mentioned earlier these are leftover lettuce plants so the roots are not much left so it's gonna have to uh, take a few days sort of like to make some more roots to come back and then it will start to grow so we will be back once the lettuce grow some more and I will update you okay just in case you're wondering where I'm gonna put these plants they are going to sit right under my arrow garden because I'm not using uh, the machine right now because uh, I have a project that uh, I'm waiting to do with it so uh, in the meantime we're gonna <laughs> grow lettuce in these small containers so uh, there they are they're gonna sit under my arrow garden if you have any other type of lights that would work as well see if that would even work uh, T5s are great and LEDs are the most uh, energy efficient so whatever light you choose to use as long as they're strong enough to grow these plants they should be just fine so we will come back soon and I will update you on progress 
Okay guys, it has been exactly nine days and the plants are making really good progress. Check that out. So uh, it took a while for the plants to sort of like come back from being disturbed and basically most of the roots were just gone because I pulled it out of the uh, rock wool cube <laughs> without too much care. So uh, anyway, look at look how beautiful this looks right now. So let's take a look at the root system. And I'll let you see how well it's doing. So just pull this up. Look at that. See that? All these roots are coming out of the, the plant into the nutrients. And it's looking really, really nice. So the nutrients level dropped a little bit. Not too much. But in a few more days, it's going to drink a lot more because it's going to grow very very fast you see all these roots are coming out even at the top layer where the the, the rock wool area is those are the air roots so uh, everything is looking really nice so uh, we'll come back soon and then I'll give you another update once this grow a little bit more alright guys it has been exactly 14 days and the plants are making much more progress they're starting to drink a lot of the nutrients up so let's take a look we'll pull this out you see that so the water level dropped quite a bit and we'll need to refill this so um, I'm gonna show you how to do this okay when refilling you need to mark the spot because you don't want to drown your roots so what I recommend is getting a marker and you want the level to be somewhere half an inch below the the main roots right there so right right around in here that way the plant does not drown once you refill so there's a lot of air roots up here uh, for the plant to take in oxygen so uh, that's what's keeping it alive so let's go ahead and refill we'll use just a bottle of water when I fill this up with nutrients for you to make it easier and then we'll just pour this in so once it hits that line that's enough and uh, as the plant grows more it's gonna drink very very quickly so you might have to do this once or twice a week or maybe once uh, every two to three days but this is how far it's gotten in two weeks so we will come back soon and I'll give you another update alright guys today is day number 15 and it's only been one day since I refill the little container and the plants have used up everything in the reservoir already so we're gonna have to change things up because I don't want to refill this every day and I would be traveling so I would need the plans to be alive while I'm away so we're gonna change it up into a larger reservoir so instead of the half uh, water bottle we're gonna use the whole water bottle so we're gonna cut this piece here from the top and then the net cup fits right into there so I'll do an example for you so basically what you're gonna do is cut like right here in this little section and you can start small and then you know just make your way around make it all even and there you have it and then the net cup would just fall in like this so that is going to be a new reservoir because we don't want to refill all the time so what we're going to do now is just take the plant out of the old container it's very simple like so and then feed it right into the new one okay so there it is 
and then we're gonna take our hydroponic nutrients and then we're gonna add this to here so let's move back a little bit so I'll show you and we'll just pour right into here so we want this to touch the bottom of the roots and not all the way to the net cup bottom and that should be all you need to do So there it is, see how the roots are touching, but my net cup is not all the way submerged because this is a non-circulating method and if you submerge the roots, the plants would die. So there it is. I'll go ahead and do the other one as well. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so that is our new containers there. and. As you can see, the level of water is not all the way touching the net cup. Same with here. So we'll put this back on to block some light or attempt to. All right, welcome back. It has been six days since I switched out the container to a larger reservoir and the plants are doing really nice. And I don't have to refill too often, but uh, I guess every six days or seven days is not too bad. But uh, the total time uh, for this experiment has been three weeks and the plants are looking amazing. You can actually start harvesting this, the leaves and use them. Just cut the outer leaves and allow the rest to grow and then just refill your nutrients. If you want to keep refilling, just refill it up to around right here. But uh, as you can see, three weeks uh, is all it took from uh, the time we started the experiment. But uh, it actually takes 13 days from seeds uh, to the time when it's ready to start the experiment. So uh, I would say in total it's been five weeks and you know the container is tiny. There's little effort. All you need is some nutrients, a good light source and that is it. So pretty simple. Uh, I suggest try this out and uh, you'll be amazed at the results. And uh, for the people that won the seeds in the contest that I just gave out, these are the seeds that you've uh, you received so try that out anyway thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe